Hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching for takes so finally legendary custom rom pixel experience plus edition is officially available for nothing phone one actually it's made available by developers few months back but because of so many custom rom i reviewed i didn't got time to review this rom but finally today i flashed the rom and we are going to check out the about phone details of this latest build as first time I flashing this build, I checked all the major functions to confirm is it daily driver build or not. I did its performance and stability test and compared it with the other custom ROMs we tested previously. We checked some basic features and finally shown some bugs. Flashing of this ROM is same like the iCard video. Please download all the files given under the video description and check that video as a reference for flashing. So flashing is done now without further ado let's get started Flashing is done and phone booted with the Pixel boot animation rom booted with the latest Pixel launcher let's jump to the bot phone to check the details of the new build this rom is based on the Android 13 with the Mother clock register egg. Finally, I got this first build based on the mass security patches. Kernel version is 5.4.210, which is enforcing kernel. Build date of ROM is 1st April 2023. Now let's check out is it daily drivable build or not by testing some functions. Like Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi hotspot, both are working good. Bluetooth devices are connecting. They support all the HD order codecs like SBC, AAC, LILAC and APTX. GPS is working well with the good accuracy. Automatic brightness is working good. 5G, 4G are working well with the few LT incoming and outgoing calls. All the sensors like the accelerometer, light, proximity, magnetometer, compass, gyroscope all are working fine. Some other things like the ear proximity, microphone, ear speakers, all are working fine which are related with the calling function. There are no any microphone sound issues in the course now, they are crisp and clear. Loudspeakers are working and they are loud enough with the stereo sound. Flashlight for the camera is working, multi-touch for the display is working good. Display is fully working without any dead pixels. Google Photos application has the unlimited photo backup working. Fingerprint and face unlock both are working and they are blazing fast with the good accuracy. Now it comes the signature feature of nothing for one that is Glyph Light. Glyph Light is working with some flaws. Flip to Glyph is working good, it has no issues. Brightness slider is available to control the brightness of Glyph Light. Call animation toggle working, but we get this single Glyph Light animation for all the incoming calls. We didn't get the different nothing for one notification Glyph Light with the ringtones. Glyph animation for the notification has some bugs. That we will check in the bugs timeline of the video. Battery level indicator is working but it only works when you connect the charger first time. Later it doesn't pop ups when you try to move the device to check the battery indicator. Now comes the camera. ROM has the lineage of aperture camera application. Sadly there is no nothing worse camera is available in the ROM. Lineage of aperture camera has working for recording with the ultra wide angle camera modes. But other features are missing. So I installed the Google Gcam MGC 8.7.250 build. Its link is given under the video description. Gcam has the working night mode for the both the selfie and main cameras. Portrait mode is also working for the both the cameras. It has good blur effect for the background objects, but sometimes it's not giving proper blur effect. Photos mode has the HDR plus mode with the frame control. Camera has the ultra wide angle camera modes and they are working fine. Video shooting at the 60fps is working only for the 180p resolution but 4K 60fps causing the force closing of camera application. While shooting slow motion is also causing the force close of camera application. Both the panorama and the photosphere modes are working. 
overall camera is not fully working and most of us desperately needs the nothing camera which has good picture quality as compared to the G cam. Now comes the most important part that is safety net. Safety net is passing in the ROM so we can run any banking or security application in this ROM. Under the secure setting of the device it's showing the device storage is encrypted so no worry even if your pin locker device got stolen or misplaced no one can decrypt his data so your personal data is safe in this ROM. Now let's check out the performance of the ROM. Initial impressions of the ROM is very good, it's very smooth. Apps opening, closing, scrolling, switching between applications, RAM management looks very promising. Even if you enable the Force 120Hz in the developer setting, for some applications like the camera, screen FPS goes to the 60FPS and when you touch the screen it raises back to the 120Hz which is good battery saving approach. After running the Geekbench for the CPU testing, I got the score of 928 and 2541 for the single and multi-core. So score is not so high, it's ok but less as compared to the other AOSP ROMs like the Paranoid Android. Other customizable ROMs like the Rise Droid Nameless also has better results than this build. Let's check out the OpenGL graphics API performance here I got the score of 1810. While for the Hulkan Graphics API, I got the score of 2440. Both of these scores are nearly same as other custom ROMs, no big difference I found here. Overall, though the numerically ROM is not outstanding but still it's performed well in real life uses. Now let's check out the CPU throttling during the CPU intensity task. I ran the CPU throttle at the 20 test for the 5 minutes with the normal temperatures. For first 2 minutes everything was absolutely fine but suddenly after 2 minutes graph shown red and yellow lines till the end of the test. After stopping the test I got the score of 76% which is bad result. This issue was also happened with the old paranoid Android stable build though the CPU temperature was ranging between normal range of 43 to 48 degrees Celsius. So definitely this needs to be fixed for some of the custom ROMs like the paranoid and this one. If you talks about the features, this is AOSP build but with the plus addition, means which has some useful features added. Like under the display and the lock screen option we get the single tap to check the phone, light display control for the color calibration of the display, different color profiles like the allow, natural, saturated etc are available. Double tap to sleep on the lock screen is working fine. Smooth display toggle is available which helps to run the device mostly at 120 hz screen refresh rate. Under the system tab we get the gesture setting which has all the pixel devices exclusive features like the quick tap back gesture, quickly open camera, system navigation with the long back swipe gesture, one handed mode, press and hold power button, press and hold power button with the advanced restart, quick start etc. Under the buttons tab we get the volume button, music playback control. We will get the OTA notification via this updater and this can be installed automatically after downloading them. Official maintainer of this ROM is Hyper25. Except these features, all the Android 13 goodies are available in the ROM and they are working fine. Now comes the most important part that is bugs or issues. First issue is common for all the custom ROM that is wideband security is L3 so we can't able to stream Netflix and Amazon Prime at the full HD resolution. But device play protect is certified so we can install all of these applications. Next is the glyph light for other notification except calls are not working. We didn't get the glyph light blinking for any of the notifications like message or other applications notifications. Another bug is NFC completely broken in this ROM. It's not working at all. Except these other camera bugs like the no 4K 60fps recording, no slow motion, these were already seen in the camera timeline. Instead of this issue, I didn't face any other bugs or the issues, everything is absolutely fine. So what is my final verdict? As compared to other custom ROMs, this ROM didn't have nothing was camera. It has some more bugs like the NFC glyph light which were fine in other ROMs. So this may be deal breaking for some users. Then they should wait for new upcoming builds. But if you are a fan of pixel device user interface with the battery smooth performance, then you can definitely go this build as a daily driver. That's it for today guys. Hope you liked my work. Then please do like and share this video. Subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye bye.